right, today we're gonna make albondiga. So I got some ground chuck from ATB. Ingredients are gonna be cilantro, onion, garlic. I'm gonna put some zucchini, tomato, potatoes, and carrots. I'm gonna wash these very, very good. Dice them up in little squares. Make the meatballs. Stay for the whole process, guys. First of all, I'm gonna heat up some oil here. I'm gonna saute the onion, garlic, and tomatoes. So just like that, we're gonna saute it until it's soft. Once it's soft, we're gonna put it halfway with water and then we're gonna condiment with a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of uh, chicken bouillon, okay? And I use two, to two tomatoes, um, half an onion, and a tablespoon of garlic. Okay, so to, for the meatballs, I'm gonna put one egg and then I'm gonna put just a little handful of rice, just whatever fits in your hands. I'm gonna condiment it with black pepper, garlic, uh, granulated garlic, chupacabra rub. If you guys haven't tried this, try it. I put it on everything. This is like fire. I have like another jar there. Carne asada, chicken, anything, fire. So put that and uh, that's it. So chupacabra, if you don't have chupacabra, you can put any other seasoning to it. Um, black pepper, garlic, um egg and rice you could also put some a uh, little bit of mint or cilantro in the mix too i i actually do put cilantro i'm gonna put some cilantro as well uh but i never had it with mint i heard it was good try it so just like that and then you're just gonna mix with your hands and then start making the meatballs i don't like make i don't like to make them so big you'll see the slice in just a minute so see just a little bit of water and bring it to a simmer and then also on the side, I blended here some fresh tomatoes with garlic. Uh, we're also going to add this. I added uh, two whole tomatoes and garlic. It looks big, but it's really a small cup. It's like half a cup uh, or a cup. Yeah, it's a cup. Um, we're going to add it once it starts boiling. So just about that size. And then now that it's boiling, we're going to just throw them in there just like that so they can start cooking. Okay. And I started to boil, so we're going to go ahead and add the vegetables. We're going to start with the potatoes carrots and then when it's almost done that's when we'll add the zucchini okay and you can put whatever vegetables you want so i just added the potatoes and carrots once it starts boiling again i'm going to put the zucchini and cilantro to top it off and then i just uh, flavored it with a little bit of salt and chicken bouillon so let it bring it to a simmer okay so i already added the zucchini and the cilantro so i'm just going to let it boil for another five minutes or so you don't want to overcook your vegetables and I usually serve it over rice, and then I, I also, it's optional, but I can add a little bit of chipotle salsa for taste. And here we go. I personally don't like too much broth on my plate, but you can put as much broth as you want. Thank you for joining me, and don't forget to please subscribe, like, and share.